it's Mika. Today I'm bringing to you a pick a card love scopes reading for Valentine's Day weekend from the 11th to the 14th and this is going to be for all Leos, sun, moon, and rising. I will try to put the timestamps down in the description box and what I want you to do right now is just take a deep breath, inhale, and then exhale. And just let your mind wander and decide which pile of cards is calling out to you. Is it the angel? Is it the fabric flower that's inside here? Or is it the Riddler? It's entirely up to you. I'm going to get started with the angel. So the first card says, spend some quality time together. It is imperative that we spend quality time with those we are in significant relationships with, listening and talking to each other. And it's very true. Depending on what you and your significant other do for work, sometimes you're just passing like ships in the night because your schedules may not sync up. So take time this holiday weekend to listen to each other. Spend some time just the two of you. It's easy to slip into the routine of our daily lives, but it is important to set aside some time to really connect and give your partner full attention that's not interrupted by phone, social media, people stopping by, having to take the kids to their sports or their activities. And I know that it can be very difficult, especially if you are a parent watching this, but you have to put as much time into your relationship with your partner as you do with your children. Because once your children are grown up and gone, living their own adult lives, hopefully it's just going to be the two of you left together. So hopefully you've taken the steps and the time to nurture that relationship. It's very imperative. Make eye contact and learn to appreciate each other this weekend. It'll definitely do you some good, Leos. And the next card that I pulled, which is one of the Love Oracle cards, reminiscing which lines up very well with this card spending quality time together talking about the good times how you two first met and all the good stuff it can definitely help you feel better get some laughs and some smiles in and you know hopefully you guys have a friendship as well as just being in a romantic relationship you all need that friendship aspect in a relationship it's very important. All right, Leos, I'm moving on to the second pile, which is this beautiful fabric flower. I think it's so pretty. I just wonder how they got it in there. I don't know. I really don't know, but it's awesome. And I love it. My friend Darcy gave it to me. All right, so the card that I pulled for you for this pile is practice compassion. See things from a different perspective. And as we get older, sometimes it's very difficult to see things from different perspectives because we get very set in our ways. But Spirit is asking you for this holiday weekend to practice some compassion, especially when it comes to those in your life that you love. We can all benefit when we try to look at things from someone else's viewpoint. Walking in someone else's shoes helps us to have a tender understanding that may change how we are feeling now. Love and compassion always bring a positive outcome.
The second card that I pulled for you, the Oracle card says one-sided relationship. So for some of you, you might be in a one-sided relationship where you need to practice having more compassion with your significant other. Don't be just like brash and abrupt with them. Even if you've been together for a long time, and I'm talking long-term relationships here, 5, 10, 15, 20 years or more. If you feel as though you're in a one-sided relationship, try to do something about it. If you're the one that's being one-sided and you're not giving as much to your partner as they're giving to you, that's a problem. And it's going to potentially come up as an issue this holiday weekend if it hasn't already. So now is the time to address it. Practice having more compassion. And not even just with the ones that are in your life, but as you see by this card, this little, I believe it's a fairy, which I love fairies, they're so pretty. It's holding a bird, got a little chipmunk on the shoulder. Being in tune with nature and being kind to those in need, particularly animals, it shows your human side. So tap into that this weekend as well, if you're not in a relationship with someone. But if you are and it's one-sided, spirit is calling to you to address it because it's time. All right, the third pile with Zirudla. First card that I have for you, show simple acts of kindness. And I gotta tell you, this card is coming up more, you know? And I think it's because the same energy that connects us all to our creator, it's in need right now. I think all of you know at this point that our planet needs as much help and kindness as possible. So showing simple acts of kindness can energize you and bring happiness to those around you. And I gotta tell you, when I do something out of the goodness of my heart, it helps me as much as it helps the person or the animal. One of the amazing aspects of being loving is that love also supports us. It is good to remember that when we are kind to others, we look for more opportunities to show kindness. It can be addictive. It can. When others are kind to us, in return, we are motivated to pass that kindness on. Take a moment to show kindness and bring more love into this world. And not just your personal world, but the love, but the world around us. Pitch, pitch in and help. Volunteer. Or do something when others aren't around. You know, you don't have to televise when you're helping an animal or a person. It's unfortunate that we do live in a culture like that where everybody feels like they have to film everything, but you don't. Because as long as you do it, the person or the animal knows and appreciates it. And, you know, you know that you did something good for somebody else. And the second card that I have is the Love Oracle card. And it says, I still have growing to do. Now, of course, this can pertain to this card because when we show kindness, we are growing emotionally and spiritually. And as for relationships, you still have growing to do. It's either you or the person that you're involved with. They're saying that they still have growing to do. So if you're at that point, you know, where you're just not meshing and one person is more mature than the other, it can create conflicts. Absolutely. And unfortunately, people don't change and grow until they're ready to. You can't force somebody to grow up or change. It's got to come from within. So if this comes up during the weekend, figure out how you want to move forward with it. Because with something like this, it can't be ignored. 
or push to the side. Same with this one-sided relationship. Neither of those issues can be ignored. You can only push it away for so long before it just keeps resurfacing. All right. Okay, Leos. Well, again, this was just a reading for Valentine's Day weekend. I'm sorry if the mess some of the messages were not as, you know, upbeat or all lovey-dovey as you might have hoped or were expecting. But you know what? Spirit doesn't give you doesn't always give you what you want. Sometimes it just gives you what you need to hear. So I hope that you appreciated these readings. I truly enjoy doing them for you. If you like them and you know the messages resonated with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe. I truly appreciate it. And I'll talk to you later. Bye. Mm -hmm.